If you're watching this as a human, you know that we don't live in a bubble, and comparing ourselves to other people is pretty much the norm. Think about it. You wake up, get on social media, and what do you do? You check a friend's profile to see if they actually moved to New York, as they said. And what in the world is your cousin doing in that brand new Mercedes? Did they actually buy it? Wait a minute, where'd they get the money? You're the same age, work the same job, but you can't afford it. How come they did? These are the perks of being a human being. We're always trying to compare ourselves with others, and that's why it's easy to get weighed down by the I'm so behind in life mentality. After all, it often seems that people are progressing faster than you, hitting milestones earlier, getting great jobs, great partners, fabulous possessions, and more. But don't worry, the next time you catch a serious case of feeling behind in life, do the 10 things we talk about in this video. Let's get started. But before we start, join our growing community by subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications so you can know each time we share new inspiring insights. Hit the thumbs up button too. Every like is important to us as it helps the YouTube algorithm get this video out to more people who would benefit from this content. So what things do you need to do when feeling behind in life? One, acknowledge that you're not alone. One way to uplift your mood when feeling behind in life is by taking a quick minute to remind yourself that you're not alone. That's right, we all feel this way in one way or another, and come to think of it, there's some sense behind it all. See, for the first 18 years or so of life, you and your peers are pretty much on the same frequency. You are all in school, so your paths are mostly laid out for you. Every day is spent among peers, and you grow up achieving almost similar milestones in the same general place. Then it's a snap, and you're through with high school or college, and you all start carving out different paths. So naturally, the comparison begins here, because you've literally been benchmarking each other almost your entire lives. You'll start wondering, where did Jenny go? Who's ahead? Who's behind? And the comparison only gets murkier. I'll tell you why this happens. Since the outside world does not have specific systems for gauging progress, for example, grades and tests, comparing each other based on things like promotions, marriages, kids, cars, and mansions become the way of telling who's ahead and who's behind. Unfortunately, while these things can leave you feeling behind, they're not absolute indicators of prosperity or happiness. And what do I mean? While someone's career might be going well, they might be struggling to find the love of their life or any other thing. So why make yourself feel bad when everyone is feeling behind in something? Take comfort in knowing that we're all in this together. 2. Try to stop comparing. Comparing ourselves with others is only natural. However, when you let comparison go unchecked, it can tear you apart. That's why you need to make a conscious effort to stop comparing yourself with people around you or even on social media. Remember, you're special because you're not exactly like anyone else. With that in mind, accept that we all have varying courses, and it doesn't make you any better or worse than anyone else to go at a different pace or direction, for that matter. If social media makes you compare yourself, take time off. Better yet, overcome the urge to compare yourself by ensuring that most of your time is dedicated to bettering yourself. 3. Take others' lives with a pinch of salt. Don't get it wrong, this actually has nothing to do with diminishing the success of other people. The thing is that being skeptical about people's progress can actually help you feel better whenever that awful feeling of trailing them overwhelms you. Every person banging on about what a great life they have is not always correct. For this very reason, don't you think you're doing your soul an injustice by torturing it about something you're not sure of? Just think about it. 4. Embrace your life as it is now. People say that the only constant in life is change. That's a good thing to know because it allows you to accept things as they are. After all, they will change. So you're feeling behind in life, true, but the good thing is that your situation is not permanent and is bound to change. It could be a minute from now, an hour, a day, a week, or longer. The thing is that there is no telling when the change will come, but your consolation is that the change will surely come at some point. With that in mind, don't let your current situation put you down. Rather, embrace it as it is, knowing that your future is different. Ever heard the phrase, this too shall pass? So why don't you start enjoying your life as it is? Life as you know it will surely change, for the better, for that matter. 5. Do the best you can. It can be hard to get yourself to do anything when you feel behind in life, and that's okay. Don't beat yourself up about it. But even though you've been dealt a bad hand, you still have to do the best with it. So do you have to start things all over? Well, that's what you have to do, a step at a time. Is your business trailing your friends despite starting at the same time? Well, just keep giving your all to it. Your time is surely coming. Sometimes you have to take detours or stop partway through the journey to fix your car, refill the gas, and so on. That doesn't mean you won't go on with the journey and eventually complete it. As unlucky as you may feel, you have the power to choose to do the best you can with what you've been given. 6. Know that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Trusting the timing of your life is another excellent way to beat the blues that come with feeling like you're trailing your peers. No matter what, you need to always believe that there's a reason you took a different path and ended up where you are in life at the moment. 
After all, if you don't carve out your own path, what makes your story different from the rest? Life will always get in the way of your big plans from time to time, and it's all right. So, by making peace with the fact that you're right where you're meant to be, it can be easier for you to accept your situation and thus elevate your overall mood. Remember, the journey is not over. You're meant to be taking a break, refilling your gas, or taking a water break at this point of your journey. When it's done, the journey will continue. 7. Overcome your internal expectations Sometimes you feel behind because your expectations are not in line with the situation on the ground. Maybe you thought you'd be promoted by this time of the year, or you plan to buy a new house by the end of last month. You get the idea. There's always something you're trying to achieve on an internal level, and if you don't, you can definitely start feeling behind in life. After all, your internal expectations of what defines success often stem from comparing yourself with others. So starting today, avoid the never-ending internal race to do this or that by a certain time. Instead, start enjoying what you've already achieved. 8. Enlarge your circle of comparison you might be feeling behind in life because you only compare yourself to Jane or John. That's right. When you compare yourself to one person or a small group of people, you're in a zero-sum game where you're either ahead or behind. However, when you widen your scope to include more people, you create less of a binary assessment of your success. You might be surprised to learn that you're doing better than many people, which will instantly boost your mood. 9. Reflect on your journey Sometimes, just thinking back to what you've gone through to get where you are now is all you need to feel better. Just think about it. You've made real progress, and that's all you need to be thinking about now. Where were you one, two, or five years ago? Are you better? Even if the progress seems minor to you, it's progress. Better yet, what you deem to be little progress might be something really big for someone else. At the end of the day, it comes down to giving yourself some credit for coming all this way. 10. Track your triggers The feeling of falling behind in life might arise after hearing or seeing some things. That's why you need to take a moment to think back to when this feeling came over you to determine what actually triggered it. Maybe you heard your boss heap praise on a colleague, or is it because your friend started a business? There are many things out there that could be triggering you, and you want to get wind of them so you can address them and feel better. There you have it, guys. The 10 things you can do whenever you feel behind in life. Keep in mind that this feeling will probably still creep up on you from time to time. But remember that the most important thing is that you're trying to be the best version of yourself, and that can take time. Now what other things can you do when you feel behind in life? Please share your thoughts below and let us trade useful insights. Hit the subscribe button right away to never miss more content like this. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and share it with anyone who will find it helpful. With that, we've come to the end of the episode. See you in the next video. Bye!